Understand this too, I'm not trying to tell you what the truth is because sometimes the truth is extremely difficult to find. And sometimes we believe we're broadcasting the truth and it turns out we really aren't. But if we find out we aren't, we must be willing and instantly able to go on the air and say we were wrong and correct it. That's a responsibility that we all have to carry. It's embarrassing. I've had to do it several times because I'm a human being. I make mistakes too.
supposedly a CNN reporter found Osama bin Laden television camera crew with him went into Osama bin Laden's hideout interviewed him and his top leadership and he came out and told everybody within three weeks Osama bin Laden is going to attack the United States and Israel now don't you think that's kind of strange folks you see because the largest intelligence apparatus in the world with the biggest budget in the history of the world has been looking for Osama bin Laden for years and years and years and can't find him some doofus jerk off reporter with a camera crew waltzes right into his hideout and interviews him. and I'm telling you be prepared for a major attack but it won't be Osama bin Laden it will be those behind the New World Order. I wonder what OC targets are supposed to be. And if they don't, you know, if this doesn't materialize in the next two or three weeks, it will eventually materialize because they haven't succeeded in getting the guns out of the hands of the American people, nor have they succeeded in taking our freedoms away. And so I tell you with a certainty, they must do something terrible in order to stop this backlash and regain the sympathy of the mass herds of sheeple out there. Apache County Sheriff's deputy is in the hospital after being shot in the head by a so-called militia member. Now what we know is that that militia member is dead. Our Gary Harper has the very latest on what's going on with that story. Gary? Marty Scott, this all happened in a little town called Eager, Arizona, which is just on the eastern side of the state of Arizona. It's almost on the border of New Mexico. This is what we know so far. Sheriff's deputies, we understand, we're trying to serve some type of arrest warrant on a man by the name of William Cooper. He's also known as Bill Cooper. He reportedly has been known to be hostile toward law enforcement, so sheriff's deputies apparently disguised themselves as a bunch of rowdy teenagers in the back of a pickup truck in hopes of luring Cooper out, and it apparently worked. However, when Cooper realized what was happening, pulled a gun and shot a 40-year-old deputy in the head. During the gunfight, Cooper himself was shot and he was killed. Now, this is what we know about Bill Cooper. Officials say he belongs to some kind of militia movement and has published several anti-establishment articles. He has a website, we understand, and on that website, he acknowledges that there is an arrest warrant for him, but he writes, and we're quoting here, any attempt by any federal government agent or anyone else to execute the unlawful arrest warrants will be met with armed resistance. Any person who attempts to kidnap our children, 
will be shot upon discovery, and that is apparently what happened earlier this morning. Sometime after midnight, Cooper reportedly pulling a gun and shooting a 40-year-old Apache County Sheriff's deputy in the head. That Sheriff's deputy, we understand, has been flown to Phoenix, where he is in a hospital. We are trying to get his condition right now. We do not know exactly what his condition is, and we understand that the militia member, uh, in this case Bill Cooper, was shot to death. We do have a crew en route to Eager, Arizona, and we'll have a lot more coming up on tonight's news. And I think these things need to be passed on to you. Yeah, it tumbled on its axis and went up into the clouds, and I was awesome. It's in the middle of nowhere. There's a farmer milking his cow, flying southern branches.